Tabor, how you been? I'm doing all right. How you guys been? Enjoy your off season? Yes, yes. I, I hope you enjoyed yours. Um, let's get right to it. What are your, specs, what are your expectations this year um, coming into this, this season? Well, we, we expect to have a team that's going to play very hard each night and compete. Um, we think we have uh, a lot of pieces to do good things this year. And just a matter, it's just a matter of us coming together as a team and doing what we have to do to be successful. Um, I know we've talked to a few coaches already, and they seem to have picked you the favorite unofficially, you know, holding it like that. Um, is that a lot of pressure you feel? That's something you expected to be the top dog? Anybody can say whatever they want. We haven't done anything. We haven't won anything. We haven't done anything. So how we could be the favorite, that's just other people looking to dust off and put the, you know, put the attention elsewhere. I think what well, some of them might say is that you have two quality D1 prospects coming up with some height. That might give them, you know, a little fear in their hearts. Like true, that. true, but <laughs> we, we had those guys last year, you know. So we, we know we can do great things, but we, we've got to, you know, we got to take care of some things on our end in order for that to happen. Now, Coach, you made a tremendous run last year. Um, how do you replicate that this year and look to push a little bit further over the top? Well, I wouldn't say we necessarily made a tremendous run. We got knocked out in the first round of sectionals last year. Well, far as having but a good season we had, we, last you know, year. We, you know. Did have a, we did have a better year than the previous year. Um, you know, obviously, it, it, it helps that we do have you know, some pieces that can do things when things break down. So that keeps us in a lot of games. Um, but we're, you know, where we were got let down last year is you know, the team aspect of things and being able to pull together and play defense and be able to hold people down from scoring uh, points. We could score in every game we played. We just you know, gave up too many. So is this defense something that, that, um, that you really hampered on in the preseason and everything? Oh, it is number one. Number one, number one. <laughs> it is number one. We, you, can put, you can put the ball on and we, we, you know, <laughs> we feel, Like I said, we, you know, we have enough special pieces on offense that when things break down, they can make things happen, keep us, keep us uh, alive. Uh, we know this is all about our defense. We'll only go as far as our defense will take us. The guys know that. Uh, that's what we've been preaching from day one, and that's, and that's what we've been working on. Now, I mean, your two, your two top players last year were Sloan and uh, the Cook the sophomore, the, now the junior now. Um, what have they improved on over the summer, just those two players right now? Well, uh, number one, they both have a year of maturity on them, another, another year. I mean, this is Sloan's third year on varsity. This will be Jake's uh, third year on varsity uh, as well. So uh, there's nothing that they're going to see this year that they haven't seen uh, before. They should be more confident. Uh, and then as you just naturally get older and mature, you learn how to play a little bit more aggressive. And, you know, um, you, know uh, you, you just – you're able to let loose, I think, a little bit more. Well, name a couple of your hard hat nails type of guy on your team. Like, really <laughs> well, get it, get to well it. look, we, look, nobody's going to play harder than, than Jack Bush for us right now. I mean, he's going to do, you know, he's going to start the two guard for us, and, you know, he's going to lead us on the defensive end, and he's going to make sure the ball's got to get where it's got to go on the offensive end, and he's going to be talking and doing all the dirty work that needs to be done. Um, you, you can't have enough of guys like that on, on the court. Um, we got a new kid in uh, from War of Elite, uh, uh, Ravion Burt, um, who's going to start at the point for us this year, which is a nice new addition. Uh, another quick guard. He's got some tenacity to him that's, you know, when push comes to shove and, and, and you know, people start trying to run at us, they got another tough guy that they're going to have to compete with, somebody that was a you know, stellar part of our football program here that knows what it means to compete at a high level and just, is just waiting for that opportunity to go and play against the Suburban Council schools. So, Coach, talk a little bit about leadership for me. And who are your leaders of your team in terms of your team gelling together and what's that all about? So, so we, have a few, we have a few different types of leaders like most teams do. Um, right now, our, our number one leader and our captain is Devin Mahoney. Um, he's a, is a senior. This is his third year on varsity. Uh, we brought him up as a sophomore. Um, he's really done a great job for this year, holding everyone on the court accountable so everyone's playing hard and, and make sure everyone's playing for each other. So our leadership starts with him. Now, like you stated earlier, uh, it was a bitter pill, you know, with a first-round exit. So what was the tone coming back into the season and the message that you definitely wanted to deliver? And what would you say the tone of some of your players who had to experience that? Like? They, we got smart kids here, right? They, they understand we have two prized prospects. Um, they're expected to go on and play beyond high school. And so they know the expectations are high. And, you know, uh, you know, and, and it's, it's up to them and us as a whole to make sure we're all pulling in the same direction so that we, we can achieve our team goals. If we achieve our team goals, that's only going to make things easier for those guys, you know, moving on beyond. Can you give me the, the top coach you had to, 
you know, you had to, you know, you had to strategize against uh, that were formidable opponents. Could you give me a couple guys that come to mind for you? Well, the, the, the top opponents, right, I would say right now in the Suburban Council would be Tony Dezikas. You know, he's had one of the top teams every, every year trying to go and compete against him. Um, now, I haven't had the opportunity to uh, play against uh, Albany Academy yet. We'll have, they, they're on our schedule this year, but, you know, bar none, you know, Brian's one of the best coaches in the area. Um, you know, so, you know, to have that opportunity to compete against those guys will be, you know, very special, you know, night for me this, this year. Talk about a little about the positive organizational culture you have here at Shaker. So I, I, I'm blessed in that uh, the, the high school coach that I played for is still helps out with our, with our program here in Jeff Holmes. So, um, you know, we've got a you know, long run over the last, you know, 30, 40 years of him and I being in this building, either him working with me, developing my teams, or me coming back when I was first out of uh, college, coming back, coaching the freshman teams underneath him. Um, you get support from your athletic director. How's that? Well, I've been uh, I, I've been blessed since I've been here at Shaker. Um, uh, we have a new athletic director this year, but my the prior athletic director, um, uh, Ed Dopp, uh, was a coach that I played uh, varsity baseball for. Um, not only did I play for him, but I came back and I coached under him for a while. So uh, I, I, you could say we had a very uh, close relationship, um, uh, both as you know as an AD and then as a coach that has blossomed from me being a, just a young man to uh, you know, to being the adult that I am now. Um, uh, we have a new athletic director, Matt Stein, here now. Uh, came over over the summertime, so we've only had you know, limited in interactions, and so far it, it's been great in terms of the things that we've been able to do uh, in terms of him supporting our program and just supporting Shaker in general. Um, I really like his ideals and where, where he's trying to take our program, and it's, uh, you know, it's an exciting place to be right now. Thanks a lot, Coach. We appreciate your time. Okay. And good luck this year. Right. We'll see you. Okay, we're here with uh, Devin Mahoney, a senior at Shaker High School this year. Devin, what are you expecting uh, to do this year in this new upcoming season? Um, well, in hindsight, I'm looking to, you know, be a section champion, you know, before uh, before I leave, and um, possibly make, you know, maybe a state run. Yeah. yeah. Off the goals. Yeah. Right. Right. Well. Tell us, talk us a little bit about your role for the team and what do you see yourself contributing to the team this year? Um, you know, I see myself being, you know, one of the, uh, the top leaders and also, um, you know, just being kind of uh, like a leader on the floor, maybe like a catch, dribble, pass to an open player, mm -hmm. good shots. So what type of leader are you? Are you like a rah, rah, let's go? Are you like a, a lead by example, watch how I do, you know, follow me in the hallways, got my books? Focus on going to class, to class, I'm out in the hallways, bugging out. You know, are you that type of guy? What, what type of leader are you? Um, pretty much both. You know, on the court, I'm more like the rah rah leader, yeah. but in school, just relax, just get my work done. Yeah, lead by example. Okay, we're here with senior uh, forward guard Sloan Seymour. Uh, Sloan, uh, what are you expecting to, to, to accomplish this season? It's a big season for you when you're coming into your senior year. What are you expecting to, to accomplish this year? What are you expecting to do? I mean, um, just playing with my friends and um, playing together. I think we have a good camaraderie. We play together, you know, ball's moving, it's not sticking around. Um, guys are just playing for each other instead of themselves and um, just winning games. It's really, you know, our main agenda. You know, last year I felt like, you know, sometimes we got, you know, a little too involved in like stat, personal stat lines for guys, including myself. And uh, this year is just completely different, you know, different mindset because of uh, what happened last year. So just, you know, getting the W, that's our only stat for our team. So, so what do you plan on bringing to the table as far as you seeing your role with the team this year versus things that you saw last year and what you want to change or amend this year moving forward? Uh, just bring uh, toughness and a uh, mean tenacity, you know, to set the tone of the game because we, we got some younger guys too who have never been here. So, um, and we got a lot of experienced guys too, but I just think that'll help. And, um, you know, we're not going to see anything we didn't see last year, you know, and uh, just really sticking to what, our, you know, what we can do and what, we, you know, not showing people what we can't do, just mm -hmm. showing people what we can do. You know, I think if we just stay in that sort of like mental zone, then, you know, things are going to, things are going to work out. So what type of leader are you for this team, would you say? Uh, just lead by my play, like just, you know, Playing hard, diving on the floor for loose balls now. Um, you know, sort of like, you know, I, we always say like, you know, hustling and diving on the floor is contagious. So mm. it just spreads amongst the team. And um, so right, you know, right from the tip, start doing that, and then just spread from guy to guy. You know, we've done it in practice before, so I know we can do it in the game. Are you the quiet type, or are you the guy that pull your teammates to the side and kind of 
you know, either pat him on the back or kind of give him a little kick in the rear end a little bit to keep I mean, going? off the court, I'm a quiet, you know, keep to myself guy. But, you know, on the court, I'm a different person. Just, um, you know, trying to be positive, you know, not trying to spread the message in a bad way. You know, letting guys know, like, you know, they're doing good, but, you know, here's what they can do better. So I'd say, like, you know, if somebody makes a mistake, you know, just give them a pat on the back, say, hey, you'll get it next time, you know. You have older brothers or sisters that got you going early? Nah, my, uh, I got a younger brother and a younger sister, but my dad coached in um, Division One for about 27 years, and my mom played at Providence, so kind of, you know, just, yeah, it runs in the family, so it runs in the family. Yeah. Now, what did you specifically put in your, uh, give me like one or two things that you specifically put in your package of your arsenal this year um, that we might see on the court this year? Uh, ball handling, got more comfortable with that. Um, Say court vision, just court awareness, you know, knowing where all the guys are and uh, physically just, you know, be in the weight room, put on about 10 to 15 pounds this off season. So I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, that transition on the court and, um, you know, just focusing on the win, you know. What is your recruitment looking like right now? I mean, have you, uh, have you limited, uh, windowed it down at all or um, what, are, what, are you, what are you looking for? I'm still showcasing my talents and my abilities this season you know, amongst uh, colleges, you know, because, uh, you know, once once colleges get the season going and they find out, you know, what they don't have or you know, what they need, you know, and now the first signing period is over, so guys are going to, you know, guys are going off the board to, you know, commit in a different school, so, you know, you know, who knows, maybe that right school's out there for me that I don't even know about yet. Right. So what, just what, staying, what schools uh, have piqued your interest? What schools have kind of... Um... Uh, South Florida, Pittsburgh, um, UMass, uh, just looking for, you know, I'm just looking forward to mm -hmm. still showcasing my abilities once what again. What you want to major in the college? That would that that be something to do with it, right? What you want yeah. to major in? What you want to study? I like business stuff and uh, criminology. You know, I like those two two fields. So, you know. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank and you. And we look forward to seeing you down the road. And we say good luck with the rest of your yeah, season. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate All right. that. All right, thank you. Thank yeah, you, Coach. Okay, we're here with uh, Jake Cook, who's a junior here at Shaker High School. Um, Jake, what are you looking to accomplish this year? What is your main goal this year for Shaker High School? My, so I've been on varsity for a pretty long time, and my main goal is just to win the section chip and just keep winning and winning. Main thing was just get my jumper better because my whole like basketball career, I've always been pushed underneath the hoop. So my main thing was just get my jumper. I mean, it's coming along good. I mean, whenever coaches got the gun out, I just get shots up on that. But also, I mean, got post moves. I work on that all the time. All the time, my up and under, step through, pump fake, everything. All right, so talk to us about uh, the recruiting process a little bit and what schools are looking at you, are interested in you, and what are you looking forward to? Um, I got two scholarships right now from Siena and Vermont. Uh, I mean, there's like, I'm getting looked at by like George Washington. I talked to Davidson a little bit, Colgate. Columbia, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, UMass is recruiting me. Um, I've been talking to California State Fullerton, and that's all, that's all I can think of right now off the top of my head. But I mean, uh, the, just the two offers right now, seeing it in Vermont. Yeah. How many ducks will we see this year from you? I'm gonna say about five a game, wow. four a game. That's that's my goal. I'm gonna try it. The most talk about I, somebody a couple times? Yeah, that would be, that would be like, yeah, right, I'll now, 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 most guys, like what happens a lot of times is this is what most guys, not a lot of guys, they get up in the air, as soon as somebody jump, they go, oh, let me lay it up. Are you yeah. the type of guy that as the guy rising, no, like, you rising? I'm, I'm going to try to put him in his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait to see this guy. Yeah. Yeah. For real. For you a lot, Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, thanks a lot for coming and talking yeah, no with problem, us. Um, no we problem. look forward to seeing you down the road, and awesome. um, we wish you the best of luck to your season. Thank you. Man. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right.